Jake Kilroy back in the shop. Been a, been a while, been quite a while, been uh, since before the summer bash. So uh, we got all sorts of ground to cover here. Uh, so let's go back to not this summer bash, but the summer bash before that. Uh, at that time, um, I bought a few items while I was out there. And uh, I got them a week before I left for this summer bash. So uh, due to just some planning, uh, scheduling difficulties. Uh, but I bought a bunch of D13 items. Um, a little uh, dog plate here that is... Uh, Got a broken uh, drive stud in it, but other than that, it's in uh, a really, really good shape. Um, a chuck back plate, about a six incher that's untouched, in very good shape. And the ones I'm most excited about is a two D15 collet noses, and. Um, these were originally shipped on Monarchs, and I got a, a great deal on these. And these things go for like gold on eBay, right? Uh, they're regularly $175, $200. Uh, anyway, uh, one of these is going to my good friend Tom Lipton, who recently acquired a 10 E, has a D13 Chuck, and um, he could use one of these. So Tom, I got one of these coming to you. Um, I have not done anything with either of them. I haven't chucked either of them up in the lathe. Um, it, you're gonna get the random um, the random shot here. I'm just gonna send, send, uh, send one to you. Uh, so that was the stuff that I got last year. Also, when I was there last year, the first, the inaugural uh, summer bash, um, I won this massive stack of uh, abrasives from Empire Abrasives. And um, I just want you to look at that. So these are flap wheels. And these are cutting discs back here. And I also, on this end, was this many grinding wheels. So this is a a very sizable package that I won uh, as one of the drawings from Empire Abrasives. Um, link in the description to Empire Abrasives website. Um, here's the URL for Empire Abrasives. Empire Abrasives has been a sponsor of the Bash two years running. Please give them some business. Um, I just ordered a pack of uh, 14 inch abrasive disc for my cutoff saw. Uh, they have really good pricing, they have very reasonable shipping, and they uh, produce a quality product. This is as good a product as you're going to get, and they're big supporters of the bash. So please check the links, send your business to Empire Abrasives if you're buying abrasive. And they've expanded their uh, offering a lot since the first bash. Uh, they now have a full a complement of abrasive belts, abrasive papers. They have all sorts of, you know, they're not just, I guess, uh, originally they were really targeting uh, metal fabrication type, you know, things you would associate with welding work and fabrication work. And uh, now they've expanded their offering greatly. So please go to the Empire Abrasives website, check it out, and send them your business when you have the opportunity. Uh, oh, I have. Right? I mean, the pack of discs that I uh, just bought from my abrasive saw don't come close to equaling the value of what I've won from them. And um, thank you very much, Empire Abrasives, for sponsoring the bash. Um, what else happened? Well, then we had this year's bash. Um, great time. Everybody's seen all the videos of everybody else's videos posting on there. Um, I would like to say a <coughs> special thanks to Stan once again for hosting the bash and for um, allowing so many people to invade his yard. Uh, it was quite an event. Uh, I also would like to say that the uh, my first uh, contest, I ran a measuring contest, was a big hit. Had over 50 people uh, subject themselves to the precision of measuring 
and um, it was a big, big, big hit. Uh, and and y'all have all seen all this. Um, I'd also like to say a shout out to my friend Dan Metzger. Uh, Dan is a big fan, a good friend, and Dan um, kind of gifted myself, Keith Finner, and Adam Booth with some personal gifts from his travels in Alaska as a personal thank you for us for producing our videos. And uh, Dan, I would just like to say that I, I felt honored and um, I, I'm glad to be back producing videos and I hope these are videos that you'll enjoy. Um, I'm looking forward to bash number three. Um, the line to get in this year for registration was out to the end of Stan's driveway and down the block. And um, for guys that were in that line, I hope you got to meet me personally. I worked the line for probably a good half hour. And, um, you know, it was, uh, it's just a humbling experience, really, to meet so many fine people. And, and because they know you, like, they know me on site. I feel handicapped in that regard. Uh, I'm not great with names and faces anyway, but when you have hundreds of people out here lined up and they all know you, um, you know, it's, it is a humbling experience. Uh, but I am looking forward to next year. So, uh, anyway, great job all around. And, uh, you know, what is the bash all about? The bash is all about people. Right? This is all about people. Uh, you know, it's there's machining contests and there's machining giveaways and there's there's trainings and stuff like that. Sure, that's all true. What this really is all about is friendships and camaraderie. So, um, you know, I hope we do this until we are just ancient and gray. That's my honest opinion. All right. Uh, on to some other topics uh, before we get into a little project work. Um, Water jet cutting. Uh, everybody knows what water jet is, right? 60,000 PSI water and some kind of abrasive, usually garnet, blown through a ruby tip, and you know, it's expensive, it's huge, it takes up a lot of space, it uses a ton of electricity. Um, and so, you know, I don't know if there's a home shop in the country that has a water jet, and I'm sure there is, but um, I use water jet cutting all the time. And um, things like this. This is a back panel for a NEMA enclosure. Um, things like this. Bigger NEMA enclosure. Uh, and things like this. Pulley side plate. This is 3 16 material. Uh, 6061. This is 80 thou material. 6061. These are all 6061. I use a uh, online vendor called Big Blue Saw. Link in the description. Link right here. BigBlueSaw.com. I have no financial interest, nor am I uh, compensated by Big Blue Saw in any way. Uh, but I use them. Uh, you go out online. You submit a DXF file. You choose a material. It gives you a quote with quantity breaks. And um, let's see, like for instance, um, hold on, let me get a different panel. So here's a stack of panels that I recently got cut. These go in a uh, 18 by 16 Hoffman enclosure. They're 80 thou, 661. Uh, it's cut to the profile screws in the corners for the um, hold down screws into the enclosure and the other holes that I needed in this enclosure right in this panel I think I got 10 of these cut I paid $23 a piece for this right um, this one right here so it's a smaller panel but there's a lot more uh, cutting you know, they charge by the linear inch of that's how they calculate their price uh, to cut the panel. Well, there's only uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine holes in this big panel uh, along with the outline. Uh, this smaller panel has four, seven, thirteen, 
21 holes in it. And this interior slot, this, this exterior feature, I think I paid about 14 for these in a quantity of 10 or so. Um, if you're doing control work and you're cutting panels like this, let me just tell you that I cannot buy the blank panel from Hoffman and I have a significant discount. I cannot buy the blank panel from Hoffman for the same price that I can buy the whole panel cut from scratch with all of my necessary features, right? So which one are you gonna choose? Right? Um, so this is not a knock against Hoffman anyway. I only use Hoffman enclosures and uh, it's a top-notch product. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they get into this business um, in, in someday soon. But anyway, uh, for water jet cutting, uh, if you're doing even singles, you don't even have to get more than one. Uh, they have a wide variety of materials on Big Blue Saw. They've got plastics, they've got metals, uh, aluminum, stainless, uh, regular steel, galvanized steel. Uh, they have um, uh, different levels of finish. They have a regular finish, which is what I use, and it's a good finish. You know, there's nothing wrong with this at all. And then they have a, a finish that's even uh, supposed to be finer edged finish, which I guess you might use if you're using thicker material. But um, uh, and then they show up at your at your business or your home, fully wrapped in plastic in a box in, in a matter of days. Right? You never talk to anybody. I've never talked to anyone uh, on the phone at Big Blue Saw, and um, I've been doing business with them now for probably five or six years, I guess, and it's about when they started doing business. Um, I was probably a pretty early customer. Uh, so anyway, like I said, no uh, no association. I don't have any association with Big Blue Saw. Uh, just a happy customer. And just wanted to make this known to my friends and viewers. If you're looking for water jet work, uh, if you're doing flat panel work, any kind, any kind of material, uh, it's almost always going to be cheaper and faster to get a water jet cut. Now look at this panel right here. This is just look at the holes, the number of holes that I have to place on this panel. And many of these uh, have to be very precisely placed. That's one big circuit board that goes on here. Uh, so that's very precisely placed. Um, you know, that takes a lot of time and energy to do uh, using manual machines, right? Uh, and this by doing it through Big Blue Saw, it just saves me a ton of amount of time and energy. So, BigBlueSaw.com, links in the description. Check it out. Um, you know, give them a try. Uh, what else been going on in the shop? Uh, a little 3D printing. Uh, you might have been able to hear the printer running earlier. Uh, made a one of my GoPro mounts for one of my fellow creators, and I'll let you look at it and I'll let you guess who it is. Uh, he requested a mount so he has a GoPro, so I'm sending this off to him. Uh, it's been, it's an improved design. Uh, the tabs in the back that hold the GoPro inserts in the front, just friction fit that holds it. And these tabs in the back, on my own personal mount, I had cracked one off. It was just too thin. So I added about, oh... I added, I think, close to, say, 80 thou of depth into the case, and I increased the thickness of these tabs uh, by 60 thou to, um, uh, to make them more rugged and more durable. So, uh, and I still use the, uh, the brass inserts. I get probably more emails about these brass inserts from Master Car than probably any other... Um, item that I use in the shop. Uh, people are always asking, hey, where do you get those? Um, I'll say a couple part numbers right down here for this particular insert. This is a quarter by 20 insert, which fits virtually any a tripod made for a regular size camera in the past, you know, 70 years. Um, they have metric, they have um, standard up to, I think, three eighths, maybe five sixteenths or three eighths of an inch. Um, and uh, they work great. You put them in with a soldering iron and they're amazingly tough. I did a video much earlier 
where I basically did a destruction test on one of these mounts to see how much work it was to take one of these out. And uh, it, it, they're really tough. So anyway, I've uh, been doing some 3D printing and hope to get back into doing more of that. And uh, got some uh, two more videos coming out uh, in quick succession to this video. We're gonna have a video on using the uh, production table capabilities of the Alls Metal Drill Press. Then we're gonna have a uh, another video where we're going to make a mount similar to this out of this and um, so anyway uh, stay tuned and um, I'm back everything's okay thank you for all the emails we've just been working too dang hard and getting paid too little and I'm sure a lot of people can can sympathize but um, we're going to get back with it. Anyway, be safe in the shop, and I'll be back with you soon.